Well, give us an update on where it is you've got to in establishing this business, because I don't think construction of the, of, of the factory has started just yet. So where are you? Good morning. Thank you for having us on the show. Uh, we are in the middle of our feasibility study in terms of site analysis. We have two sites of which one, hopefully, by this week, next week, we can announce being the site in the UK. And from there, we have about 155 people, engineers, consultants, etc., working full time on the project. So we're aiming to have the shovel in the ground during quarter two 2021. And, and so are you definitely going to put this in Wales or is that still up for debate? And why is it so important to have these batteries made in Britain? Uh, very good first question in terms of Wales. Wales is the preferred site, but we still need to do the feasibility study because these giga plants, they are very large and they're very energy consuming. More importantly, we need to remove the embedded carbon footprint within the larger supply chain. So we need to have renewable energy. That's one of the reasons why Wales is a preferred site, but there are other sites in the UK that are very good as well. You could just import these you had batteries, a second question I suppose. As well. why... yeah. yeah, sorry, I was just saying you, you could just import these batteries. Why is it necessary to make them here? I'm sure there are reasons. <laughs> Correct, we can import the batteries, but there are a few things that we need to bear in mind. Firstly, in an electric car, the batteries are roughly about 40% of the cost of the car. And bearing in mind Brexit, rules of origination, etc., moving forward, we need to localize that aspect of the supply chain in Europe. Currently, we only have 3% of the global battery supply in Europe. If we are able to localize the supply chain to the battery industry, the cell manufacturer in Europe, then we're able to remove the embedded carbon footprint within the supply chain. So it's not just about how much CO2 that comes out of the end of the tailpipe. It's about the CO2 from the mine all the way to the car. And that is the point why we need to localize the supply chain for the OEMs. OK, and tell me about the funding for this project, Oral. Uh, have you already raised all of the money that you'll need to take this project to conclusion? How big is the gap? Uh, project is, is over a seven year period. Phase one will be completed 2023, quarter four. So obviously raising money for future phases is, is not cost efficient. We are on track with our funding requirements at this stage. Uh, we have several legs of funding, private, commercial, and we're also looking to collaborate with the UK government and have our expression of interest approved by the Automotive Transformation Fund. Has the pandemic slowed preparations for this project at all? Or, or have you been able to work quite effectively around that? Uh, the pandemic has, has uh, very similar to Brexit, been good for British fault. Uh, I think the pandemic, more importantly, has highlighted the importance of a localised supply chain in the country. For us, the pandemic has been uh, helpful in the sense that we need to pull together a lot of different teams very, very fast in order to maintain the momentum to achieve the uh, very ambitious time frame that we've put in place. So yes, the pandemic has been slightly helpful, many thanks to the fact that we can work online these days. And just briefly, the Brexit uncertainty, has that been a barrier for investors or how has that weighed in? Uh, Brexit has in general been a dark cloud over the UK. I mean, if you look at the foreign direct investment numbers since 2017, obviously they've been on the decline. Uh, in terms of the Giga plant and British Vault, we have not seen a reason where Brexit has caused the financiers and the investors not liking the uh, proposition. So from our perspective, I think we are well aligned with industry strategy, we are well aligned with, with uh, Her Majesty's government and their industrial strategy, and more importantly, we are aligned with the industry benchmarks. Okay. So for us, Brexit has actually presented itself as an opportunity.